a great weekend we did welcome back to my kitchen today is rum cake yum, it's, yum. yes it's been requested so many times it was really requested a lot over the holidays but i never got to it so i figured why not today better late than never i got that right this time remember another video i said mm. i was all messed up <laughs> <laughs> so guys what we're going to need for a good rum cake, an easy rum cake, uh, we're even going to make the, the rum glaze uh, with the um, sugar, water, rum, and butter. We're going to make everything. We're going to make a classic, old-fashioned rum cake, sofa tea way. Walnuts. I chopped them. You could buy them already chopped. I didn't, so I chopped them. This is about a cup and a half. May not use it all, but I just got it here just in case four eggs, half a cup of Doc Bacardi rum. See that? Some buttermilk, some Baker's Joy, if not Baker's Joy, any um cake spray, flour spray for your cake pan, or you know, old school flour and butter. Do your cake pan. I have right here, two and a half cup of cake flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of Salt and also, I'm trying to think the main vibe all over the place. And also, I had some vanilla pudding. Vanilla pudding in this recipe is very crucial because they help with the alcohol. Somehow, I help it balance off the alcohol. But if you check out a lot of rum cake recipes, they always add in this box of vanilla pudding. So, again, I have one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder. Two and a half cups of cake flour. You can use all-purpose flour. You just have to shift it. Mm. You just have to sift it <laughs> at least twice because you want to make it really, really thin. And, of course, your um, instant vanilla pudding. Two sticks of softened butter at room temperature. Not too softened, but soft enough. And two cups of sugar. And we're going to start. And you can hand mix this with a hand mixer. And, of course, preheat your oven at 325. And your favorite butt pan. We're gonna let this go for about a good maybe five minutes or so. So I wanna incorporate that um sugar and that butter. I wanna make it kind of fluffy. So now that the sugar is all, I'm gonna speed it up just a little. Feel like grit. Mm -hmm. Always take your spatula, cut it off, because I want to push it down, because it goes up to the side and up beneath. But somehow kitchen aids just don't get everything from the bottom of these um, bowls. I right, put it back on like a medium. I think it's like on three. This air feels so good. I think we got the heat up. I think we got the heat up a little too high in here. Because I got just about every window and door open. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down. This on one. And I'm gonna add in my eggs. I'm gonna add in one at a time. Guys, if you're not good with the shells and all that stuff, just make sure that you um pre-crack your eggs so that they um you won't get any eggshells. You shouldn't have this right here. No, I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't even like dark alcohol, but I know I could come up with another recipe um, using this rum. So it's not a giveaway, Brandon. <laughs> Try to get my alcohol, and I still got to make the glaze. Yes, do one cake, um, one cake, <laughs> one egg at a time. This cake is going to go in the oven on 325 for maybe about um, 35 to 40 minutes until it come out too thick clean. Before I add my vanilla, I just want to scrape down the sides again. 
just to make sure we're getting everything. I'm not going to add too much buttermilk because I'm already going to have a liquid, which is going to be the, um, I'm just eyeballing. Guys, if you can get your hand on some of this, um, vanilla, Walmart has it like for $6.99, smaller. You don't want to know how much I paid for this. How much? You don't want to know. $125. $1.25? No, honey, $125. For that? Yes. For this? Yes. $125? $125, big dog. You did Because I want some good vanilla. When I bake those um, pound cake smoke website and I'm sending them out, and oh, by the way, thank you, Soul Squad, I, um, I want that flavor, you know? I want, the, I want them to have the best of the best, <clears throat> that good flavor. So you can't go wrong with that. Okay, I'm going to go in with my ingredients a little at a time. And this is my dry ingredients. Now, I'm going to pull in my lump. Yes, a half a cup, you guys. I'm going to turn it down so it won't splash everywhere. Ooh. You can smell the wrongness mm, yes, of it all. Oh, and oh it's still God, thick as a little bit. And remember, everything is at room temperature. Your buttermilk, take it out at least 15 minutes before you about to um, cook. Um, your eggs is at room temperature. I hate these kind of buttermilk. This is all they had at the store I had. I like the kind of, you got to twist the top. Mm. You remember me, remind me of school. <laughs> and guys, I'm going in with a half a cup of buttermilk. I can smell the alcohol. This is a quick recipe. Recipe. <laughs> oh man, a simple recipe. You guys will enjoy it. You will love it. Hey, I'm finished with that side. So smell no, not. I'll wash it out later. And it's gonna let it just do what it is. I don't want to overbeat it, so I'm gonna let it down. Take this off. Yeah. Oh, that air feel good. That's why I'm standing so close to the back door. <laughs> oh man, can you put that in the in the sink for me? And I'm just gonna push this. Oh, I hit your arm. I'm sorry. Push this back. Take the handle. And I'm just gonna stir everything up. Get everything that this mixer didn't get. You know, look at that. That's the consistency that you want. And you can just smell the alcohol in here. Yes, a half a cup of rum. Gonna get you twisted. Okay, with that being said, I'm gonna reach over your arm, Brandy. Bun pan. Have my bun pan. I'm gonna move all, push all this stuff back. And my stove is already preheated, it's ready to go. 325. Again, you can use flour. I, when they came up with this, it saved my life. I mean, I'm, I'm from the old school, but anything to make anything quick and easy. Now, this is where you take, I have a cup and a half of walnuts that I chopped. I may not use it all. You want to layer the bottom of your pan with your nuts. If you want to use pecans, pecans, whatever the um, the correct pronunciation, oh, by all means, whatever you have. It looks like I may use all of it. Well, you got to put some on top. Mm -mm. So that's it for this. Put your own back. I right, go in. And I'm going in with my cake mix. <laughs> Around in a circle we go. Where stop, nobody knows. And I'm making a mess on the side. <laughs> the aroma of this is great. Of course, we're going to clean all this up. And when this cake, you come out, get done. I'm going to show you guys woo, how to make the glaze. 
Ooh. That alcohol is in here. <laughs> Jeez, I think we gonna get drunk tonight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Jeez, I need some Coke soda. <laughs> Twenty-one years old and older. Eat this cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna get out all the air bubbles. God, this cake is ready for my oven. Three twenty-five. Again, forty. I would say forty-five to fifty minutes. I really, since I started doing the show, I kind of like have to start time. If I could tell you guys, normally I don't time my cakes. I just put it in the oven and I know when it's done. But we're going to say about 50 minutes, or well, 325, and we're out until next time. Oh, no, not until next time, till we come back and make the glaze. <laughs> okay, so squad, we are back. Look at this cake. The aroma in the house is fantastic. Look how soft this cake is. Okay, like I told you guys, I normally go time cakes just because... I pretty much know when they're done or you know like you put a toothpick in it it come out clean not wet this cake 325 for 60 minutes that's all I'm gonna let this cake sit here the oven is off while we do the glaze I got one fourth cup of water that's all we need I have a half a cup of butter which is unsalted butter which is only what mm -hmm. a stick of unsalted butter and also, one cup of sugar. We're gonna let all this come together. Have me that wire whisk right there, Brad. And let's see, yeah. Thank oh, you, you do got one. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna let all this just come together for about five minutes. It's like on, I got mine on a number five because I have the numbers on here. And we'll let this chill. About a good 10 minutes while we're doing this and I'm gonna flip it on here and it's gonna be awesome sauce and while we doing that I'm going in right here because we need what another half a cup of rum I told you you gotta be 21 to really drink this cake nobody under 21 in my house gets this cake Unless your parents say you can't. Other than that, no. This cake is great. I got my partial paper lined up because when we do the whole drizzle thing, you know, easy clean up on my cake dish. So, yeah. I don't even know why I got the wire rack out. Won't even be using that today. I'm just going to let this come to a boil. It's on a medium heat. About a good five minutes. It's just going to simmer up. The butter is melting along with the sugar. We don't put the rum in it to last, you guys. I don't know if you guys want to wait or I could bring you back when it's all bubbled up and everything and you guys see the end result. It's on a medium high heat and it's going to bubble. See, guys, that's the ball that I wanted. See, look at that. About a good five minutes. See how the glaze it is? You see how sticky it looks? That's what we wanted to come to. I'm going to turn it off. And I'm gonna add in my half a cup of rum. This is dark rum, you guys, that I'm using for party dark rum. I think what I bought didn't cost that much money. It was like $7.99, $8 for this bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. And what I will be doing, I'm gonna pour, pour it into my measuring cup. Ooh. Hope I'll make a mess when pouring. Ooh. Yes. I'm not going to be using all this, of course, people. No, I'm not going to be using all this. Of course I'm not. I'm making a mess. Drip, 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 drip. But before we even get into that, let's get into this. Is that for playing that deck on video game? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that child on that video game. Okay, so. Oh, I'm gonna flip this. This is still kind of hot, but. There it is, guys. Oh, that's why you flip it. That's why you put it on down the bottom. Okay. Yes. I flip this. There go all your nuts and everything. And I'm gonna take this right here. 
because I want an easy clean up just with this glaze and I'm just gonna pour it again there's a little bit of sweetness I guess I'm gonna end up saving some of them I'm not eating I'm gonna get drunk just looking at it <laughs> <laughs> and give it that glossy see how the walnuts and cook into it And I just want to make sure, so I'm going to take my little spatula, oh, it's right here. I'm just going to get that glaze all on the sides. And that's just why I got this right here. Yeah, we're going to cut it for you guys. I'm going to cut it. Just this sugar glaze. We just gonna make it shine. I told Fufu, mm, sweet sugar glaze. We gonna put some all in there, around here. You guys, and like this make a whole lot. I'm, I probably won't be saving this because I won't be making the rum cake no time soon. And I believe this is more glazed duck, more rum duck. And you know what I should have done? I'm about to grab me a skewer because we're going to punch in some holes. And if you guys have something, just punch in a couple of holes at the top. Ooh. If you can. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to pour a little bit more in it. Okay, go down on the inside. Like I'm whispering. Break right on top of those holes I did. They're gonna be too busy eating it down, okay? They ain't like, okay. There we go. Your Friday night turn up <laughs> with this cake. This again, this cake is not for the youngins. It's for the adult in you, honey. Look at that, the Yes. So, with that being said, see, so it's the easy clean up. Just pull this off. Hold your cake around my plate. Let me clean this up. I'm going to get a, a plate. We're going to cut it and let you guys see the inside. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, this is my rum cake. Hope you guys like this video. What? <laughs> Your dairy oh, yeah. That dairy yeah. You guys like my dairy yeah. So I <laughs> I, know. I hope you guys um like, share, subscribe. Just until next time. I love this rum cake. Guys, don't forget about you know the jam fam. Um Drew and D and of course. What is wrong with you? Have you have you been sniffing the rum? Have I been sniffing this rum? I don't tomorrow? know. I don't know. I'm scared to eat a piece of Oh uh, God! And guys, hope to see you guys on April the seventh. So Squad, we are out. We love you today. It's Tuesday. This video's up. This is my rum cake. So let's cut. Oh, it's so tender and moist. I'm gonna let you guys see the inside, cause I can't guarantee it. But my, my, I ain't talking no more. And it's still hot. Mm. Look at that. We're out. They might so, like it. Everything bigger in Texas. <laughs> so, guys, these are my sliders, my way for my family. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I am sweating. Don't forget to get your tickets for April the 7th.